Resolutions here for anybody who's been in the UK Armed Forces or who's served with the forces in an auxiliary role or who's in the Territorial Army, who's a part-time soldier, and who has post-traumatic symptoms. And that doesn't just mean strict PTSD as in proper diagnosis. It means anybody who's suffering from symptoms they've contracted in service which are making it difficult for them to live their lives, which are winding them up, which are making them disconnected socially, which are making it difficult to work or, or have relationships or, or to sleep or whatever. Anything that forms, falls into the uh, category of post-traumatic symptoms, then we will help somebody who's been in the forces and is suffering with that. What differentiates us from other organizations in the field is largely that we try to do the things that other organizations don't or can't do or can't do so flexibly or quickly. And that means in practice that we'll treat people where they are as soon as possible, often in the same week, usually the next day or so we'll put them in touch with a therapist. We'll work from their model of the world and their problem, from, from their viewpoint rather than from any kind of dogmatic, this is what therapy ought to consist of, sort of viewpoint. And we will work in, in prisons which are normally very hard for traditional services to access, like for example inside prisons and uh, nursing homes or inside people's own homes. So really we work locally, immediately, free of charge, and from the client's viewpoint, from the client's model of reality, but using a system which generally gets people to a stage where within a very short space of time they don't have their life completely disrupted by post-traumatic symptoms, even though they might have been quite severe in the first place. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes that break through so fast? Resolution uses an exposure system. Any successful treatment for post-traumatic symptoms is going to involve some degree of re-exposure to the memories which have become traumatic. So there's no way around that. But what distinguishes the resolution approach to trauma is that we use an exposure system which is as humane and as direct as it's possible to be. We don't generally go via language. A lot of re-exposure, a lot of uh, techniques used in, in trauma involve you recounting the events verbally, and often many times, until the emotions connected to, to those verbal recountings start to subside, and so you become reconditioned or habituated to being able to, to re-experience the trauma verbally without a big emotional reaction. But we've never done that. We started from the human givens point of view, which is that as the events that you experienced were sensory in the first place, they were visions or sounds or smells, whatever, they weren't words that traumatized you in the first place, it makes sense as a de-traumatizing route to go in via those same senses. So the re-exposure method that we use depends on people closing their eyes very often and going back into a, a reconstructed visual memory and perhaps other sensory elements as well and approaching that memory very gently, very tangentially at first and then progressively getting closer and closer to it while keeping the person very, very calm until you get them to a stage where they're able to revisit the original memories without a large emotional reaction happening. And when that's happened, then the brain has effectively learned that it's reasonably safe to go near that memory and there's no need for a big uh, reaction to occur. It's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, also the fact that you don't have to invade. It's non-invasive because you're not using language. It is non-invasive and it's also non-humiliating. You, you very often come across people who have a lot of guilt associated with the traumatic experiences they've been through. It's not simply a question of having seen somebody blown up or whatever. It might be that you've killed people or that you've failed to protect somebody. Some some people who might have been civilians might have been children. And the, the emotions associated with that are enormous and the, and the guilt associated with that can be terrible too. And not having to go back into the words and describe all the things that you did or didn't do is, is to some people at least, a, a very considerable bonus. Thank you.